on today's episode, we're making fried rice. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We are going to jump right into this cook. No need for an introduction. Um, so we are getting started here on our Blackstone. We have this at the highest heat it can possibly go. It's been sitting here for about three minutes preheating. We're going to give it another minute here, let it get up as high as it can possibly go. That's what we need to be able to do fried rice correctly. Um, so once it comes up to temp, we will start putting our items on and get this going. This will be a relatively quick cook, um, so I hope you enjoy this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get started here. I went ahead, I put down some avocado oil, let that come up to temp so that we can start frying off some of our uh, vegetables here. For vegetables, I have one white onion, three cloves of garlic, and then one bag of frozen peas and carrots. So let's throw these on. All right, so we're gonna leave the temperature on as high as it can go in this entire cook. Once these start getting soft, we're gonna do our eggs. And I have three uh, beaten eggs that we're gonna throw on here. All right, so we're starting to get some color on these. Okay. I'm going to go ahead, we're going to slide this off the side. We're still going to let this cook. Now we're going to put a little bit more avocado oil down, it's right here in the middle, let that warm up, and then we're going to do our eggs. So we're going to do three beaten eggs, so avocado oil is down, here's our three eggs. Eggs are cooked. We're going to combine that. We'll pull this back over here. We'll grab our second spatula. All right. Now we're going to add our rice. So this is two cups cooked rice. Um, we like it with quite a bit of vegetables. If you want to add more rice, go right ahead. The biggest thing, this has to be cooked the night before and in the refrigerator overnight. So, dump that right on top. All right, so to help help the rice, so to help the rice, what I like to do is actually put a little bit of water, and then we're gonna start working on our seasonings here. All right, so make a hole right in the middle here. We'll let this steam up, so we're gonna pour some water right here in the middle.
All right, so now we're getting to sesame oil time, so you're gonna need about two tablespoons of this. Let's pour it right in the middle here. That's about two, three tablespoons worth. All right, let's start. So we've got to mix this in there. You'll be able to smell it immediately. Okay, and then what I do is I actually flatten this out because we want as much surface area of this griddle touching this fried rice as possible. So this is what's going to give it that actual fried taste and quality. So I'm going to let that sit there. Um, what we're actually going to do next, we're going to get some soy sauce. So soy sauce, of course, or one of those soy sauces. If you're going to season after the fact, please taste beforehand. Um, one reason you may end up needing more salt afterwards is if you lose, use a low sodium soy sauce, then you can run into problems um, where you're gonna actually want extra salt. So, three tablespoons of this-ish to start. Um, if you want more, go ahead and add more. If you're worried about it being over salty, start with two, um, but I just eyeball it. All right. Okay, so we'll start with that. All right. So we're gonna give this another minute once we spread it out. We're gonna let it get a little bit crispy. Don't let it go too long or you could burn it. All right, so we let our fried rice grill up a little bit. Got nice and toasted on parts of it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna load this up into a bowl. We're gonna take it inside and we're gonna have some dinner. All right. All right, so once you got it in your bowl here, I just like to finish it off with a little bit of chopped green onion. And that's it. So it is that simple to make fried rice. All right, let's go ahead. We'll try this out. Make sure you get a little bit of egg, a little bit of everything if I can. Of course, get the rice. Whoops. It's great. Make sure if you have the space, if not, if you have a wok at home, make sure you just let it sit after you flip it, after you mix it up. That little bit of crunch, faint little crunch, you don't want to make it crispy. Faint little crunch really adds kind of what it is you experience when you go to a takeout restaurant. I do like this proportion of vegetables to rice. Um, I don't like it super rice heavy. I want to actually taste what else is in it. If you want to change that, go right ahead there's nothing in concrete with this starting with the three tablespoons of soy sauce was good um, it's actually perfect and then the sesame oil you don't have to use a lot <laughs> I've made that mistake before thinking I wanted it to taste and you really don't need more than the two two ish tablespoons I used or it'll be overwhelming that's all you'll taste so this is a monthly request from my wife she loves it we used to do takeout now we do this um, it does take a little bit longer. It's more work, of course, than takeout, but I do like eating fresh um, food, and we don't. So if you have any questions, please do not forget to put those in the comments below. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel as we have a lot more cooks. I really hope you enjoyed this one. hope you'll make it for your family, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.